Hi, I'm Geodab and what we're going to do in this video is, well, I'm re-recording the video that you may have already seen on this, but the first option I've found for using a Blender character rig in Unreal Engine 4. Now, as you're well aware, well, or you should be well aware by now, the, the default scale for, for Blender is way too small for Unreal Engine 4, which as you can see here, I've already set the scale to 100, which I found is rather useful. Okay, so we'll leave that there at, at the moment, but we, you're going to say, well, what character rig? Well, the majority of people within Blender, far as I can tell, are now using the uh, Rigify character rig. Now, if you want that, uh, let me see, it's uh, Control A, no, wrong, Shift A, there we go. And if you go down to Armature, you'll have Human Meta Rig. Now, I'm not going to start this up al already, I'll show you why in a minute. But uh, if you haven't got that in this option, then you have to make sure, let's just show User Preference, Add-ons, Go down to Rigify, where is it, Rigify, Rigging, Rigify, put a tick in the box, save user settings. Also, if I remember rightly, is it Inputs, Editing, there's something in here, in t uh, trying to remember where it is, uh, File System, there's something somewhere about enabling Python scripts. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head where it is because I done it. The, I had the problem the other day, and no, not themes, not add-ons. Don't think it's here, but because uh, I did have it somewhere. Now somebody's going to call me a completely not a fool and point me straight to it, but. Uh, I can't find it at the moment, but I'm sure you'll find it. Okay. Now, I know I just said mentioned the uh, rig Rigify character rig, but, big but, when you use that, you get a whole load of stuff, which makes it a bit of a problem to export into a game engine, because you end up with something like 180 bones which is not what we really need. Now, the first option for that is this one. There's a guy called Andrew Price. He's done a fantastic introduction to rigging in Blender. Now, that's video one, video two, and video three. Now, the best thing about it, well, apart from stacks of information that he tells you on creating your own rig it also supplies the download for the finished blend so what we're going to do is I'll, I'll keep referring to Andrew Price if you haven't done rigging in Blender and you've or you have but you haven't seen this it's a very good setup for doing a character rig into a game engine not just unreal engine 4 but that's what i use that's why you're watching this so uh without further ado let's get back into blender down download that rig and have a look at it and what we're going to do is i'm going to open now i'm going to go to where it is which should be there now before before you open this file, untick the load UI. Yeah, because otherwise it resets it, the whole user interface to the, uh, the blend file that Andrew made. So we'll open that up. And now, because we are set at a, a scene scale, where was it? It was here somewhere. No, it's probably not showing it for some reason. There we go. Screen sale of 100. 
Andrew's character and rig is this little orange dot in the, in the middle. Now, if I pull the... Well, I'm just going to... Uh, let's see, N. Yep, there we go. Now, if I just pull this out, you will see here the armature. The uh, That's the actual mesh. And these are all the little helpers which you can't see at the moment because they're extremely small because I think the the figure is about mm, two blender units high which is obviously not what we need so what I'm going to do I, mean, I could go zoomy 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 and you can just about make it there and you can see it just about there yeah managed to get in okay so obviously that's not what we need now i'm trying to zoom right back out again <laughs> so all, all we've got to do is press a which deselects everything press a again which oh my screencast's gone off oh hang on uh n start display that's probably because i loaded the file so a to deselect all a again to select everything now s for scale and 100 and return now this sets the scale nicely for importing into unreal engine 4 but big but if you don't do the next bit it won't go proper so it's control a and apply the scale now we're happy Oops. Uh, I'm still even after all this time because I use multiple programs navigating in, in interfaces is not my best thing <laughs> okay so what we got here now you can see here highlighted in orange is all these little helpers which allows us to animate the rig a lot easier than having to go in click on trying to click on the bones and all the rest of it okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to export this file out into fbx using my modified fbx exporter file the one where I get rid of them adding the extra bone on the bottom of the armature. Now before I do that, because I'm going to get lots of errors, I'm going to open this lot up. Well, in fact, no, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do it the slow way, because somebody will tell me to do it the fast way. Now, if we export it as it is at the moment, and you try to import it into unreal engine 4 you will get an error because it's got three root bones now if i didn't modify all the file it'd go in okay but because it had just put an extra bone onto that bit there but do we really need these extra little helper bones that is added in for roll main pole target and things like that uh no so what we're going to do is click select them Go on to bone and untick the deform. I'm going to do this on all of them. Now somebody will tell me there's a quick and easy way to do this. But please bear with me. Just trying to make sure because the first time I've done this. I actually d missed a couple of these bones and I got an error. I was like, Ooh. right, so all that deselect deselected, just select the mesh, go on to File, Export, Autodesk FBX. Now you can see I've done this quite a few times so far. And the settings I like to use on the FBX ex exporter is selected objects, 
and only deform bones. So we'll export that. Right, what I'm going to do now is this time I'm going to actually stop the video and when I restart I'll be in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so it's that one and okay, here we are in Unreal Engine 4 and yes, I've been playing about a bit, don't worry about that. Right, what I've done is I've made myself a folder a character test folder and I'm just going to right click import to it now you don't want that now, a good thing about the blender export it will send it to wherever the the blender file was and it will name it what the blender file was so we're going to click on that import now you'll really want well I say you really the way I do this I'm not saying it's perfect or the correct way but it's the way I do it is I make sure click on an advance make sure you tick use TOAs ref pose smooth groups and untick the physic create physics asset now I do that purely because a lot of my skeletal meshes I don't need a physics asset like my weapons uh, if I have vehicles then which will come later trust me uh, you don't need a, a physics box on every bone going and it's the same with characters and I like to set this up not using the defaults okay so that's just my workflow so I have pretty much as it is here and then click on import now we will get these warnings uh, out of date FBX we know this because it's blender uh, the material wasn't set because we didn't import any materials FBX bind pose is invalid uh, yeah whatever and we've got a non identity scale factor on the main bone the root bone uh, I don't think at this moment in time that really affects it we'll see later when we get onto animations and hopefully I might fix it or f actually find out what that problem is all right so first thing I do is I save it save me any hassle and now I'll just have a quick look at the rig now that looks actually okay and you can see okay he's not got a texture on him but we're not worried about that now we don't have any of those little helpers okay so that rig all those helpers were not ticked as being bones or being able to deform so we've just got a if i try and I'll go and maximize it to make things a little bit easier for you to see we have 60 bones okay map to 59 vertices mm. Something might not be quite right there, but just as a quick warner on this, it's something I noticed that I still haven't corrected. We don't have a root bone. This is something you may wish, or probably is a good idea to add in. Now, we don't also have the, the IK bones that the uh, UDK or some of the Epic rigs have. Whether that's necessary, I don't know. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. So if we need them, we'll come back and, and sort this out. It's not a big problem updating the skeleton. Okay, so if you've got your, your mesh in and your skeleton, well, your skeleton in and you're using a fair few meshes on there and then you realise later, ah, okay, maybe we need a few extra bones here and there for say like a tail or hair or you know bits and pieces dangling down you can, so long as you keep everything to the original namings and then you're just adding on it shouldn't be a problem now i say shouldn't because things might change and i don't want you to take me to court for it okay so 
that actually looks not too bad. Now, just to make things for comparison's sake a little easier on you, I've got the third person template here. And just to show you, just going to drop the wee man in there, move him back a touch. And I chose the third person template because in here you actually get the Hero TPP skeletal mesh. I'm just going to pull him in, plonk him in, and move him that way, move him that way. So they're stood next to each other. Get rid of that for the moment. And I'm going to nip in here. Now, yeah, the lighting's not great, but you can see the size is pretty much okay. Now, that's a hero. Now, if you watch the the blender size settings you will know that he's 192 units high which is a pretty big lad and this guy is probably not quite so big yeah looks a little bit stumpy anyway but when you're in blender you can just so long as you've got everything selected just scale it up to how far you need it apply the scale and then you can export without any problems okay so we're just going to leave it at that and i'll see you soon with the uh, another option using the R rigify complete rig okay then bye bye now